Welcome back, everybody! Last episode, Sigurd borrowed a table, and we literally have no idea why. He just decided we needed a table. And that's about that. Anyway, though, everyone, on this episode, I don't know what's gonna happen. But I do want to tell you something. I went back to one of the old save files, and I was curious about that upper floor that I couldn't visit in the castle. So I went back there and I checked it out, and it turned out there's really nothing up there, which is probably not a surprise, but... I mean, it wasn't completely pointless, I mean, there was a camera up there. You remember the camera that Shacken was looking at for Margie's room? Well, basically, you can enter that room after you fight a couple guards that are blocking the door, and then... Oh, oh, here's the camera room, cool, nice. you think that Bart would have had some kind of reaction to seeing Margie on the camera, well, he doesn't. He's just like, nothing. Just says absolutely nothing. Doesn't even acknowledge, like, hey, that's Margie! But nope, nothing like that at all. So yeah, it's, it's basically pointless, but still kind of neat, I suppose, that there was something hiding up there in the end, after all. But anyway, yep, that's that. So moving back on with this table, Sigurd, why do you get a table? The owner said if we need anything for the young master, just ask for it. I'm grateful! Are you? When I was a kid, I borrowed stuff from there and got in big trouble. Borrowed? What did you take? Honestly, I don't remember. A toy boat, maybe. I think that's what it was. I put fireworks in it and let it float on the cathedral's lake. I always used to play Navy. Navy? I'm not sure, but I think I pretended the lake was the open sea, and I was the fleet commander. Anyway, forget those old stories, we should get started. Let's burn this table to the ground, huh Sigurd? Oh wait, I forgot, you don't like fire. Understandable, given your past. First, Gebler is the big problem, not flames. Yes, Ramses is headed towards achieving his goals. That he is now the commander of Gebler is proof of that. A noble man could not progress so quickly through that country's organization. But now he is presently located here in Ignis. Frankly, the situation is not very favorable. We need to somehow find a weak spot and attack it with all our might. Yeah, let's do it. Let's attack it with all the might we can. First, let's just concentrate on Shackhand. Once he's out of the way and Ava is safe again, we can think about how to deal with Gebler. With our present strength, we should be able to hold off the Royal Guard forces. Well, maybe? The problem is how to deal with Gebler in the meantime. They will most likely move at Shacken's request. They're not just gonna sit and by and watch quietly. May I have a look there, please? Hmm, yes indeed, that is a map. In short, we want Gebler to leave for a while. At least until we are able to take back the royal capital, Bledevik. These are the Gebler units currently in Ava, correct? What, the moving pieces? Or... wait, what? The Western Guards. And then that's just... The World Capital Defense Force. <sighs> what about the diamonds? Are those the cities then? And units along the front line at the border with Kislev. That Kislev border needs some protecting too, of course, after all. There are three main groups. Each is made up of a, mi of a mix of Gebler and Ava forces. Only two of these are very large. The Royal Capital's defense units and the Kislev border units. The Western Guard along Nissan's border are a little more than a surveillance team. I didn't even know there was anything near there in the first place. Didn't I even go over there and I don't remember seeing anything? In order to recapture the Royal Capital, it will be necessary to draw these defense units away from Vladivik. We have some Kislev made gears, correct? Yes. Yeah, we captured some earlier! Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Very convenient. What if we use those gears to make a raid on the Western Guards? 
here at the border with Nissan. Oh, I see! We'll draw them out by making it look like Kislev is invading Ava! Oh, dang, now that is just sneaky. But the problem is, will attacking the border guards be enough to set the center in motion? To be sure, then, Nissan will just have to appear to align with Kislev. If they see it that way, they will certainly make a move. You're saying that you intend to use Nissan as bait? That's... kind of... messed up. Doc! Shackhead is very sensitive to Nissan's and Kislev's actions. If Nissan starts moving, he will probably leave it up to Gebler, but... Of course, I do not wish to do that from the beginning. But looking at the situation, we have to be willing to go that far. Hmm... Who said, hmm... First, we infiltrate into the capital. How many times am I gonna say first? Should I be saying second or third at some point? To take out Shacken, we'll have to meet up with our agents already in the city. We are forgetting one thing. The frontline units along Kislev's border. Dot dot dot! That's impossible! I completely forgot about that! What are we gonna do? Uh-huh. Oh, excuse me. The main strength of Ava's fleet is the battleship Kifinzel. It's been in service since the reign of the last king. Because of its firepower, the whole unit is nicknamed the Invincible Fleet. I recall yesterday's intelligence report said that the ship is near the border. Is it now? Well, that's good! Dang! That puts everything in jeopardy! Do not feel so down. I simply wanted you to see the current distribution of force in the area. Even in the worst case that, will, that they do come, it will not be such a great problem. What do you mean? I have some additional information about Ava's border fleet. The former Ava Supreme Commander was transferred there. Not really transferred, more like... demoted. His name is Vanderkom. Oh, that guy. Vanderkom. You don't mean the Vanderkom that was in Juggin. The very same. Young one. He has not been able to adapt to the change in tactics. Particularly following the introduction of Gears. He is a man who will never stray from his dependence on large naval guns. You mean he's stubborn! He is all size and no real military power, an excellent target for pirates! Young master, this is not going to be an act of piracy. Just kidding! Or were you? Actually, the number of gears assigned to the fleet seems to have been reduced. Even with that, how gallant of him to be so self-righteous. Is he that much of a musclehead? It'll be fun taunting him! Young Master! I know, I know! Anyway, Saiten, do you think he can strike our gear forces? It is not a problem. Even with Vandercom, we have enough forces left to pull off the feint. However, it would not be wise to underestimate our opponents. But I want to underestimate them, though. Well, now that we know what we are up against, here's what we'll do. We're going to assault them right over here. And they'll turn around, and then we'll smack them again from the other side. How we're going to get around those mountains, I have no idea. But we're going to smack them from behind one way or the other. Apart from our main unit heading for Bledovic, we must keep the fleet at Kislev board from returning to the capital. So we are going to sneak up on that, what? Whew! So you're suggesting we have another unit? A few effective soldiers at the hold, to, to hold the enemy at bay, a small force is best. A small force. What if Faye leads a group of gears there? I don't know, what if Faye led a group of gears there? Hmm? 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 Me? Hold on now, there's no reason to involve you all in this. I... I'll do it. Yes, let me do it. When do we leave? 
Are you sure? We've come this far. Hey, we're friends to the end now. Well, geez, you should change your tune pretty quickly. Speed is everything. We should do this as soon as possible. All right, tomorrow. Sigurd's all like, are you guys crazy? I am truly grateful, Faye, Saiten. You guys are nuts, but you're awesome. Thanks. Well, I say let's go ahead and do our mission then. Yeah! I, I mean... Ah, oh, dang it, I keep forgetting my lines. I, I mean, yes! Yes! There's no way we can lose. No one will die in vain. Well put, young master. What? No, fade the black. What does this mean? What are we doing? Uh, shoot. Is that what we're doing? Oh, no. It's a city. Are they all gonna burn down in the middle of the night? Wait, what is this all about? Why is it so ominous? Good morning! What are you doing here at this late hour of night? Or early morning or whatever? What's with the long face? Not feeling well? Or are you feeling sad about saying goodbye? Or maybe you're just nervous? Shut up, stupid. Don't bug me. <laughs> well, she sure took that in stride. Alrighty then. Well, it's almost time! Yeah, yeah. Is everyone ready to go? I'll be waiting here, so let me know when you are through preparing. I'm never through preparing. Did Sighting just, like, warp or something? I have been waiting for this day for a long time. There's still some time until we leave. Why don't you make preparations? Boy, told me you're helping out with the plan, too! So you're caught up in this now as well? I've come this far, so I might as well stay till the end. Thanks! Why well, know you'll do a good job! We'll try to do a good job anyway. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, is it actually daytime? There was a new wind blowing today. What does that mean? Also, it's quiet. Too quiet. Oh, okay, now there's a bunch of people here. I was like, where are all the people at? It really is too quiet. There's no freaking music or anything right now. Lately, this town has been gotten lonely, but I'm stubborn. I won't close up shop. Looking for... Uh, I'm looking for some items. I don't know. Probably not, actually. I changed my mind. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Even though I didn't buy anything. I don't know why you're thanking me. Are you insane? I think you might be. I think I'm in file number one now, right? Yes, indeed. Margie's Rescue, City of Peace, The Tournament, Operation Ava. Interesting. The names of the save files. Oh, it's so insane indeed. All right, let's get out of here. That's really all I wanted to do was just save. I didn't really think there was any importance to do anything else. That's all. All right. So in case something bad ends up happening, what the crud am I doing? All right, there we go. In case something bad happens, we can always just go back to the save. Are you ready? Not yet. No, I'm ready. Let's go. Where are we going? Oh my gosh. Our comrades and Nissan will hit the Western Garden Kislev uniforms as planned. We'll wait for the right moment and head for the palace in the Yggdrasil. Got it! But avoid any, any unnecessary deaths! This especially goes for the Ava troops, and also the people from Gebler. Yes, we understand. I guess I'm going to raise some heck in my well tall then. We're counting on you. Alright, let's do this. Next time we meet, I will be able to call you Bordy Young Master! Maybe, your majesty? Cut it out, Bart's fine. Great mother of Nissan! Hey! You know I hate that title! Ha ha ha! Well, we're out of here!
Okay, good luck! That's what you get for calling me your majesty. I hate that title too. Margaret and Bartholomew, seeing you two brings my hopes up. Long ago before the Fatimas of Ava were called Fatima, the royal brothers and their wives oversaw many prosperous reigns of or eras. I'm looking forward to the day when as the great mother of the Nissan sect, you will take your place on the throne as Bartholomew's wife. Wait, what? But isn't she Bart's cousin, though? <laughs> what? What? But I'm I'm his <laughs> well, I'm his cousin, though. Well, that's not gonna happen. Well, hold on, I hate talking about queens and romance. Bart and I are best friends. <laughs> Marriage is the best friendship. Well, Margaret, at the rate that you are maturing into a beautiful woman, I don't think Bart will be able to ignore you much longer. Stop it! You're embarrassing me! Oh, no. She's embarrassed at the thought of marrying her own cousin. What the heck? I don't care. Oh, jeez. Each squad of gears take off in order from here to avoid being picked up. We'll meet to the Rockies by the border tomorrow at 1200. Got it? Okay, the time has finally come. I'm pumped. So the warship is outdated, you're only going in as a small unit. It's going to be a tough fight, but you could change Ava's future. I'm counting on you. Leave it, to up, leave it up to us, young master. We'll drag Vandercom's tail around and around. Right, son. Don't call me son, because you sure ain't my pops. Huh? <laughs> Plot twist, it's actually his father. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, young master, we promise to make something out of this battle. We'll see you if you can. We will certainly see. And gone they are now indeed. Faye, it's odd for me to say this since I'm the one who got you involved. But, be careful, okay? You too. If anything happens to me, take care of Margie and them for me. Don't jinx yourself. It's not like you. But I'll take care of them. Don't worry. Ah, what could possibly go wrong? Everything's going to be fine, right? I hope. I don't want to see Bart die or anything. That'd be stupid. But wait a second, though. No. You know what I just realized? This, this little cutscene here. It's reminded me. We haven't had a lot of anime cutscenes lately. We were kind of getting a lot of them at the beginning of the game, but now it's like not really too many. Does this even count as an anime cutscene? It's 3D, but then again, some anime has 3D in it too, so I don't freaking know. I would say no, it's just a cutscene. Oh, blast off! Oh yeah! It's time we do some things. Where am I going, though? Oh, man. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, aren't you going to rest up a little? I'm playing a Saitan now? Oh my god, alright, okay. Everything's going insane. Nothing's in here. That's all. Alright, well, hi, Mason. Uh, bye, Mason. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna talk to you, Mason. Let's, let's talk. I don't wanna waste time here. At long last, we are heading for Bledevik tomorrow. Though he is the prince, our young master doesn't know the royal capital very well. I'd always felt that was an awful pity, but despite that, I tried my best to raise him as crown prince. However, looking back, I might have put too much of the burdens of kingship on him too early in life, and it might have been too much for a child with a future like his to handle. I must be the most terrible reminder ever. My dear Lord Mason, I hardly think that is right. The young one would have taken the burden off of himself had he not wanted to bear it any longer. He is a fine man now far capable of handling any such burdens or pressures. 
and I believe you are the very ones who have given him the strength to do so. Oh my good, Dr. Yuzuki. How may I be of service? Well, uh, items, weapons, accessories, I mean, I'll, I'll look at some weapons and accessories, why not? Think that would be nice, there's nothing here. Absolutely nothing here, that's cool. I hope I can be of such service again. Uh, I guess I'll look at items? I don't think there's really anything to buy, though. It definitely seems that way. Speed defense up, okay. Okay, I forgot how what that stuff was. Woo! I hope I can be of service again. So I guess I must be going down here then in that case. I was gonna say camera. Can I, can I like get a good camera angle here? I would like to be able to see where I'm going. That'd be very nice. Empty room. Well, I was put in here for a reason, right? I thought it was to talk to Mason, but now I'm not talking to Mason, so I don't really know. Okay, no one's in here. Where am I going exactly? Am I lost? I think I'm lost. What's up? That old man is all fired up with zeal. I sure hope his blood vessels don't burst. Ugh. No need to worry. His blood vessels are made of duralumin. And oil flows inside them. Shoot, I found a bug at a time like this. What should I do? I wonder if I'll be able to fix it by tomorrow. Like, a literal bug or a bug in programming? Going to break the toy is cool down suddenly. Okie dokie then. So this isn't where I have to go either. Oh my gosh. I just don't get it. Do I talk to the dog? I didn't think so. Wow, jeez, that's crazy. I didn't know that was what was going on right now. No, no, no. You don't know what it's all about. Woo, wow, woo. I guess I'm going to go back over here because there's no one over there. Hmm. Hmm. No, really, where do I go? <laughs> I'm lost. Okay, you're not who I'm talking to. At least I don't think so. What about over here? Well, okay. It's too noisy. Is it some kind of festival? Wow! Oh no! I gotta like. What was my Mew voice like? Was it like that? Was it all like? Master! Master! What do I do? Ah! I don't remember how I did it. I think it was something like that, wasn't it? Ah, oh, jeez. Freaking Mew. I, I swear, it was great. So great. This is not where I go. Maybe in... Maybe in the cockpit, perhaps. <coughs> Going up? Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. You're in here, right? Or not? Where the bloody heck am I supposed to go right now? I thought it was talk to Mason, but it wasn't Mason. Now I don't know. I guess up here? I guess I can go up here, so what the heck? I don't know. Hey! I found the right way! That was confusing. Uh, excuse me. Oh, it's Sigurd. I thought I was going to be psyched here walking up. Excuse me. Why such a glum face? Tomorrow is our first return to your castle in 12 years. Returning to the castle! Wasn't he at the castle just yesterday? So I don't think it's been 12 years since he did that. After we get the royal palace back, I guess I'm going to be king. I'm not very suited for it, am I? You'll get used to it. Listen, Sig. Yes? I guess it, re it really doesn't matter who the king is, does it? As long as it's a symbol of hope, right? It doesn't have to be me. I guess? In a sense, but... Not necessarily true either. I was kidnapped by Solaris and brainwashed for use as a human guinea pig. But even they couldn't erase my desire to return home. Then I remembered you and Margaret. Not as the royalty of our country, 
but it's just normal children. I don't care about rebuilding a dynasty. I want to regain this kingdom because it belongs to you. Because it's your home. <coughs> Excuse me. Because it's my home? Yes. For that, we must take Shackhand down tomorrow, am I correct? Right! Then let's do it! But first, I think you need to take a bath. A bath?! You don't look like a king at all. You are facing the enemy's leader, so you must have a noble appearance. Hey! You just said it didn't matter whether I'm a king or not! That is that. This is this. That someone was waiting for you. That one thought was all it took for you to regain yourself. You were a great man, Sigurd. Well, I mean, what do you expect? It's Sigurd. Of course he's a great man. <laughs> ah, jeez. I freaking swear. It's like anyone named Sigurd is just automatically awesome. It doesn't make... It just doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. It's like, hey, my name is Sigurd. You're automatically awesome. There you go. Also, I feel like part of that window loaded in, then another part of the window loaded in, so it looked like half the window was there for a second. Wait, what? <laughs> What's going on? Did we just go to Ramses and the one girl in bed randomly? <laughs> oh, it's that guy again. <coughs> He's so good. Look at him go. He's just like killing them all. I was like, yep. Got you! I'll take you all down. I assume that must be Ramses' dream, though, because he was the one envisioning that before. Oh, 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 there he is! He's all like, I know who you are. Oh, that guy? Wait, what? Is this all related? Also, what is that? Is that... Is that Bart's gear? It's all red. If that is Arvis and everything's going all red, it's like... It's kind of making a little sense right now. Ooh, that's gonna sting in the morning. He's out of control. Stop him. I don't care how. Just stop him. Do whatever you gotta do, I suppose, right? You're about to get roasted, watch out! It's not gonna be very good. Ah! That was kinda loud. This can't be, I think he said. I gotta read this fast in case a lot of advance. Uh, it, help! Dang, okay. Oh. oh. So, how did he get out of that alive, exactly? Assuming this is something that really happened and not just a dream? Got a really high heartbeat, huh? What's wrong? You look like you have just had a nightmare. It wasn't that same dream again, was it? No. It was nothing. Car. Uh huh. So he has this nightmare frequently, huh? Peeping is not very becoming, you know. Huh? <laughs> I saw the boy that you saw that you were after fight in the tournament. I could tell right away he resembles you greatly. Huh? You used the influence of the Ministry to set you up with that man. I don't know what you are up to, but don't you dare think about plotting against me. You stay out of this. Oh, I see the news has already reached you. As usual, you're the first to hear about everything. But don't worry, I won't steal your prized possession. I'll cooperate. Besides, you and I go back a long way. Huh? This is getting interesting. I don't know what's going on. Ow! What's up? 
No, for a moment, I thought thought I caught some unnatural sounds. We're near the capital. It's probably just some kind of ship from there. But it's not from the surface. It's from under the sand. Under the sand? This is the only sand cruiser in all of Ava. We haven't heard anything about a new ship even from the spies at Ava Naval HQ. Franz, can you try again to confirm what it is? I can't catch it again. It could have been a sand whale. Young master, I'm detecting an increase in the use of F-band. That's the World Capital's Defense Force's frequency. There! On the surface layer! I'm detecting sounds of anchors being weighed in and engines being activated. The Royal Capital's Defense Fleet must be departing. We also intercepted a transmission from the patrol at the border with Kislev. They're requesting immediate backup from the Royal Capital. Looks like we really raised some heck at the border. All right, we'll start. Ready the shuttle boats. No, 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 Bart. No, no, no. I, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to cut you off right now. We're not going to start right now. We are going to start on the next exciting episode. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Man, that was awesome. But seriously, though, who needs to start right now when you can start in 24 hours from now? As always, of course. <laughs> you know, you got to wait it out. Plan it out. Make sure you're getting it right. Because if you get it wrong, I mean, you only get one chance, right? Might as well think about it. Because you don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. Heck, failing sucks. It really does. Oh, jeez. But anyway, though, everyone, next exciting episode, we're going to be doing that. So I will see you all later, everyone. Bye!